All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And a sincere Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. We're going to go on this topic on what does the Bible say about voting? Okay. Um, start off with the scripture Deuteronomy 17 and 14. When thou art come unto the land which the Lord thy God, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, uh, gives thee and shall possess it, possess it and shall dwell therein and shall say, I will set a king over me like as all the nations that are round about, I mean, that are about me, right? This was um, before when uh, the Lord delivered uh, the nation of Israel from out of uh, Egypt, the Israelites from out of Egypt, okay? This is uh, what the Lord told them. It says, uh, thou or you shall in any wise set him king over you whom the Lord thy God shall choose. So the Lord... Uh, our, the the our power, you know, the one who the world any really calls God, he's the one who chooses who the king is. Okay, it says one from among your brethren shall you set king over you. You may not set a stranger over you, which is not your brother. Okay, and when you look at um the the scriptures. It says uh, a king, you know, you're supposed to set a king that's among our brethren. And when you look at the um, election for today, Donald Trump is not one of our brothers. You know, he's not for the so-called um, Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. You know, who are predominantly the, the uh, Israelites, you know, the Israelites are predominantly the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. And we're scattered abroad, you know, the four corners of the earth. You know, we're going to look like everybody on this planet. You know, we're going to look like so-called white people, we're going to look like Chinese people. You know, it goes by your, the lineage goes by your father, you know, and it has to go back to one of the 12 sons of Israel. You know, and Donald Trump, his lineage does not go back to uh, Israel. His lineage goes back to Esau, which is uh, one of the, the uh, it, it was the brother, Esau was the brother of Jacob who got his name changed to um, Israel, you know, which if you date all of um, every so-called Negro, Predominantly, if you date if you date all of their fathers back, the first father, the first the first person that was a so-called Negro, his name would be Judah. Okay, and we are the the real Jews according to the Bible because Jew is short for Judah. That's our nationality. We're not African American or black or whatever other uh, thing they want to uh, call us. You know. But the the that's the same thing for the so-called Mexicans, the same thing for the so-called Puerto Ricans, you know, the the the, the so-called West Indians, the Haitians, they're all Israelites, you know. Um, just because you have the skin color don't mean that you're Israelite because you got some people over there in so-called Africa, which Africa is named after the so-called white man, you know. But you have some people over there in Africa who have the skin color, but they're not our people. Our people are on the, they're predominantly on the, the West, uh, Western Africa, okay? Because we fled there uh, in 70, after 70 AD, you know, you can uh, Google that, you know, to flee the uh, Romans, you know? But um, you have people over there in Africa who was fighting us, uh, for as long as we can remember, they're actually called Hamites. Okay, those people and some a lot of them people in Africa, they're actually 
from the lineage of Ham, one of Noah's uh, sons. Okay. Now, uh, the scripture says, one from among thy brethren shall you set king over thee. So if it's not a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, you know, then that's not, um, that's against the scripture. You know, we're not supposed to be setting a, a Edomite over us, you know. And if you date back the so-called white lineage, if you date all the fathers back of them, the Caucasians, it's, it, if it goes back to Esau, well, it, it should go back to Esau because that's who, who started them. Okay, um, and so on and so forth, you know, uh, online through the scriptures. Now it says, um, thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, right? Um, and, and Donald Trump is a stranger. And here go another key point. It says, which is not your brother. Okay, and that, that excludes Hillary Clinton also. Hillary Clinton is an Edomite also. They're not, you, you're never going to find, you know, uh, I'm gonna I'm show you. You're never gonna find white people. Okay, it 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 don't exist. You know, it, it, the the words people, the word people, and white uh comes up, but you're never gonna see white people. Okay, in the Bible. Okay, you're not gonna see uh black people. The word people and black come up. You know, but you're not gonna see black people. Okay, you're not going to see Africa or America. You know, this Bible is written in a puzzle, you know, and everybody isn't meant to get the understanding. Okay, but the scripture says what they say, you know, first off, we nobody is if you vote, man, you off, man, you know, we, you off um, because the scripture says. Whom the Lord thy God shall choose. So the Lord chooses who who is the king, you know? And that's going to be among our brothers, okay? Daniel 4 and 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high rules in the kingdom of men. So the Lord is the one who, who rules in the kingdom of men. You know, you got a lot of our people thinking that um, they uh, vote in matters, which it doesn't, man. You know, the presidents are um, elected, not selected. You know, this whole uh, system of things, that's all bull crap. The Lord already uh, wrote, you know, who who was going to be a president. You know, the Lord knows who's going to be president, you know, before it even happens. You know, it, it, it's already just, it's all just meant to happen. It's just prophecy, you know, whether it's Hillary or, or Donald Trump or some other bull crap uh, happens, you know, but at the end of the day, the Lord is in complete, total control of everything. Okay. And, and he's working through uh, the bankers. Okay. Um, I'm going to get that scripture. Um, Job, Job nine, oh shoot, Job nine and, uh, 24, it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay. The so-called white man is the wicked. Okay. It says he covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay. Now, the, the earth is given it to the hand of the wicked, as the scriptures say. Okay? It says, uh, the most high rules in the kingdom of men and gives it to whomsoever he will. So, right now, the, the, the kingdom, right now, America, which is Babylon the Great, according to the scriptures, the Lord uh, give, gave the world to Esau, the so-called white man, the wicked. You know, so this whole world, as we know... This whole earth is um, is full of wickedness, right? It says, and gives it to whosoever he will, right? And sets up over it the basis of men, okay? Now, base. I'm going to this word base, the basis, 
okay? It says, uh, low, lowliest, right? So, it's, it's basically saying the Lord uh, gives it to who, whosoever he will, and he sets up the over it the lowest of men. And when you look at um, Donald Trump, you know, which we here at Great Millstone, we don't, um, we don't, we don't participate in voting. Anybody who believes in the Bible and fully believes in the scriptures, you don't, you shouldn't be participating in voting. Okay. But the, the, the thing is, the fact of the matter is that Donald Trump is more low than you can get from off of a person, you know? You have um, uh, George Bush, who everybody had a problem with, you know? And Donald Trump is more low than George Bush. Donald Trump don't have any type of experience in political, um, in a political field, you know? He's a so-called business uh, person, but we don't know what type of businessman he is, you know? And um, he, he made it this far off of uh was really inside the hatred i mean the the demise of all of these uh so-called um white people you know right now the, these people are ruling and they want their kingdom back they want to make america great and you have to ask yourself when was america ever great okay you really have to ask yourself when was america ever great and if you go back into a certain uh decade there's always something um, that was messed up with that 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 particular uh, decade, you know. So if you go into like the the fifties, it was segregation and you know Civil War, nineteen sixties, seventy, the feminist movement, you know, eighties crack crack epidemic, you know, America uh, never was great, you know, unless we talking about when they had our people into slavery. You know, and Hillary, Hillary Clinton really isn't any better either, you know, and, and uh, basically the Lord set up the basis of men, you know, the lowest of men, whoever gets in the presidency, you know, or stays in they're they're low, man. This, this society is filth, man. This is scum, you know, but the Lord is the one who rules and he he is the one who set things up for a reason you know but um i gotta give you what's gonna happen you know um it's uh first chronicles 28 and 5 is these are the words of um king david okay it says and of all my sons for the lord have given me many sons he have chosen solomon my son to sit upon the throne of the kingdom of the Lord over Israel, right? It says, and he said unto me, Solomon, your son, he so built my house and my courts, for I have chosen him to be my son. Now, this is a uh, key point, you know, who, this is the Lord uh, telling uh, King David, you know, that Solomon, his son, was going to build his house and his courts. Right, and the Lord calls uh Solomon his son, and the Lord never called anybody else his son, you know, other than Israel, you know, but per personally, his son, you know, his only begotten son, which is the one who the world and really calls Jesus, you know, and the, the scriptures, uh, when you go into it, it says, uh, there's there would never be a greater man, um greater than solomon okay and then as the scriptures come you know as the, as the scriptures go on okay and life goes on then you had the one who the world anyway calls jesus who which his real name is jehovah and he came and he was greater than solomon okay now why would that happen if the lord promised that nobody would be greater than solomon the lord promised Nobody would be greater than Solomon. Okay? No greater man. You know, maybe I can, you know, find it.
Hold on. Bear with me for a second. Okay. Now, it says Matthew 12 and uh, 42, I believe. Matthew 12 and 42. And that that's the words um Yahweh Shah uh spoke twelve and forty two. It says uh it says the queen of the south shall rise up in judgment with this generation and shall condemn condemn it, for she came from the uttermost parts of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and behold, a greater than Solomon is here. Okay? But the Lord said that there was gonna be no man greater than Solomon. Okay? It says, He shall build my house and my courts, for I have chosen him to be my son, and I will be his father. Okay? And when you're going to the word Solomon, okay, which it means Solomon, okay? It means peace. Um, it says, Moreover, I will establish his kingdom forever. Now, did the Lord establish the kingdom of Solomon forever? No, he didn't. You know, that's that's to come. You know, Solomon came and passed away. So you mean to tell me the Lord set up a kingdom, was going to set up a kingdom for Solomon back then, you know, forever, and it, it didn't happen? You know, it's never going to happen again? You know, the Lord is not one that's a lie, you know? It says, if he be constant to do my commandments and my judgments at this day. I mean, is at this day. So, the, the point is, man, you know, it says, for I have chosen him to be my son. The the only begotten son of, of the Lord, the Most High, Yahweh, is the one who the world enemy calls Yahweh Shah. Okay? Yahweh Shah is uh, King Solomon in the reincarnation. Okay, and when when Yahweh Shah, the one who the world any release called Jesus comes back, you know, he's going to establish the Lord. That's when the Lord is going to establish his kingdom forever. You know, as the scriptures say. Okay, it says um. And and that's what we need, man. That's that's what we hoping for. Okay, um. Why? Because Solomon uh, Yahweh Shah. Uh, is the word Solomon uh, it means peace you know that's the only time we really had peace when we was uh, when when Solomon was was ruling okay it says uh, Isaiah 11 and 1 and there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of, stem of Jesse and a branch shall grow out of his roots and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him the spirit of wisdom and understanding Okay, and, and Yahweh Shah is of our brethren. You know, he's a brother. He's not a stranger. Okay, he's a stranger to these uh, Edomites, to the so-called white man. You know, they don't truly know him. And if he came back, they wouldn't want him ruling over him over them. You know, he'd be stepping all over their toes. You know, and they want their, their uh, money, you know, their corporations and all that stuff to continue to go. Right? It says, the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding. And you look at the candidates for this um, presidency, they don't have wisdom and understanding, you know, unless it's in wickedness. It says, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. These people, they don't fear the Lord. It says, and shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears okay and and you look at the way that people are nowadays man you know these candidates and stuff like that they don't they reprove they they judge after what they see you know i'm gonna build that wall you know and <laughs> it's is really wicked man you know it says but with righteousness so he judged the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall 
smite the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the, slay the wicked. Okay, so when he comes back, man, you know, this is that hope that we're, we're waiting for, man. You know, if, if, if he deserves our vote, you know, that's that's what we want, man. You know, a place where where righteousness dwell, you know, not in this wicked society. We never going to get that in, in this place, man. You know, waking up every day, getting it, it's it's. It's it's time for this place to go, man. You know all these these um the 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 um bull crap in the society. You know people saying that uh you know turning the the truth into a lie. All these people sitting up here saying that they living for the Lord and and they love God and stuff like that, but they don't want what God want for them. They don't want um. Uh, heaven to be on earth You know they don't want the Lord to rule over They want this so called white man to continue to rule over them You know It says and righteousness shall be the girdle Of his loins And faithfulness The girdle of his reins You know so the, the Lord When he comes back is going to be uh, Sent from Yahweh He came here before You know to To um, to, to prepare the kingdom You know The kingdom of heaven is at hand man You know And it's time for our people to repent and wake up You know Because when he does come back You know And I'm going to get this scripture And I'm going to end it You know I'm going to get these You know I'm going to end it off on this Um, When he does come back This is Revelation 19 and 15 And out of his mouth goes a sharp sword That with it he might smite the nations And he shall rule Ruled them with a rod of iron. And he treads the winepress of the fierceness and the wrath of of Almighty uh, God. And and the 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 Lord Yahweh is mad. Okay, he's mad. You know, he it says the fierceness and the wrath. You know, so when he comes back, he's coming back with a lot of fury, man. You know, and that's all from from the Father. You know, from off of what they did to our people. There's this wicked society, okay? It says, and he have on his vesture and on his thigh are name written King of Kings and Lord of Lords, right? It says, and I saw an angel standing in the sun. He cried, and he cried with a, a loud voice saying to all the fowls that fly in the midst of heaven, come and gather yourselves together unto the supper of the great Lord God. So, when this time comes, when the Lord comes, the birds are going to, gonna man, because they barely eating right now, man, you know? I'm talking about, like, the vultures and, you know, th those type of, uh, you know, beasts, you know? They're going to have a, a good supper, right? It says that you may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of ca captains and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and, and of them that sit on, uh, on them. In the flesh of all men, both free and bond, both small and great. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together. Okay. Now, uh, this beast is, uh, is, is NATO, you know, which is the, um, North. Hold on. No, I don't want to, you know. It says uh, North Atlantic uh, Treaty Organization, okay? NATO and the uh, EU, you know, predominantly the the, the um, so-called uh, the, the the places where the Edomites uh, dwell, you know, where they where they reign, where they rule, which they rule over the, all over, you know. But NATO NATO is the beast, you know. It says uh. And the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse and, and against this army. So when he comes back, they're going to be trying to war against our our Lord, you know, our king. Because they don't want um, to, to go down. You know, they want their society to continue to go on. It says, and the beast was taken and with him the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, which have deceived them. That have received the mark of the beast and them that worship this image 
Th these both were cast alive. Okay, cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. Okay, because America is going to get destroyed. You know, all these other nations, they're going to get destroyed. Okay. Anybody that isn't down with this, they're going to get destroyed, man. You know, and the only ones that's really going to be down with this is the elect. You know, the elect of Israel. Okay? But at the end of the day, we're we not supposed to be voting. You know? The, the Lord is going to come and he's going to restore order on this planet, man. You know, because it's too much disorder. You know? And this is all planned from the very beginning. Okay? We're in the last days and that's how, it's, how it is, man. You know, this presidency... It isn't going to go too well, man. You know? But these devils, they they don't want to go down. You know? And they, they trying to deceive as many people as they can. Okay? And it's either you down with the Lord and you down with the program or you're going to get destroyed. You know? You, 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 you fighting against the Lord, man. You know? But with that, I want to say Salawam.